Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura Tapiwa and if you're joining me for the first time, hey, what's up? I'm happy you're here, join the family. And if you're back again, I don't know how many times you've been here. What's up, cousin? Because we are what? A family over here. <laughs> anyway, um, today we're doing a sit down video. I like to do sit down videos when I'm going through something like similar to that, something I'm learning from myself or something I've learned from so that I can share with you something that is enlightened. I don't just want to go and Google what's trending or what's there. If I'm sharing this with you, it's because I've learned from it or I'm learning from it. And I want you guys to learn from it as well. So by the title of this video, you can tell that this is how to navigate life's different seasons. Because with life, we get, we are in a lot of seasons in life and we encounter a lot of things. And sometimes we're not well equipped as to know how to navigate them. And I've just learned about that. Okay, not just, but I've learned about that in the past couple of months. And I want you guys to learn from it as well. And I want to help someone and I hope this encourages someone. So without wasting more of your time in your intro, I'm just going to start the video. Sorry, I'm going to drink some water because... Anyway, <laughs> so I have identified or kind of grouped the seasons and is the same as farming season. Four seasons, seasons, farming seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. <coughs> Sorry. Winter being the planning and reflecting stage, spring being the planting stage, summer being the growth stage, and autumn being the harvest stage. I have grouped this in the four. So the first thing you need to do in order to navigate different seasons is identify which season in your life that you are in. You need to pay attention to what's going on around you. You need to pay attention to everything you are getting. You need to pay attention to how you're feeling and identify which season you're currently in. That is how you will navigate the seasons differently. You need to pay attention. Are you in your planning and reflecting? Are you in your dry season? Are you in your winter? Are you in your spring you know are you planting are you planning are you in your harvest season you know are you reaping everything you've sowed you need to identify which season you're in and that way you'll know how to navigate so basically how to identify these seasons is that winter winter is the dark dry season where nothing is going on for you everything is cold you know winter just the normal is winter spring is probably just when you see that you know things are starting to look a little bit better or you have a bit of hope in you and you're starting to plan and plant and you know kurima and all of that and summer is the growth the rains you start to see the rains coming you start to to see the works you know you start to you start to have a bit more hope and then autumn is harvest reaping uh, that doesn't need an explanation another thing is that you need god in all the seasons in your life that is a given i should have said this first but that is a given whatever season you're in you need god and whatever season you're in god is present you have god with you and you also need god so you need to also inquire of the lord you need to also pray and fast and listen to the word of the god of the lord whatever season you're in so i'm going to start with winter to autumn and explaining how to navigate the different seasons of your life okay so in winter this is when it's cold this is when it's dry winter or your drought season or the dry season this is when it's cold this is when the nights are longer the days are shorter it feels like it um it actually isn't like that because the same 24 hours are the same 24 hours in every season but it feels like the nights are longer it feels like the bad days are many you are grieving you are at loss you have lost so much you are crying more um this is the time where you need to sit and reflect on past mistakes. I know a lot of things happened to you sometimes in the season and sometimes it's not your fault, but you also need to look at the role you played to be in this season. You know, you need to reflect on past mistakes. You need to plan better. You need to think of what you need to do to do better in terms of weight. This is probably when you're at your peak of the most weight you've ever, you're weighing the most you've ever weighed. So you look back and think, how did I get here? Um, the habits that you've had that you want to cancel, you try to think of the habits that you don't want, the alcohols, you want to quit alcohol, do you want to start to exercise. This is the time you sit and reflect in your plan. So if you find yourself in your dry season, nothing is going well, you sit back and you plan. Let's say you're job hunting, you sit back, you take a look at your CV again, you find out what's going on, what the trends are, you update your CV, you update your LinkedIn profile, you up your skills, whatever season you're in, if you're in winter, this is the time you plan. You look at what you've been doing, you look at how you can do it better, 
you upgrade that you plan it around okay i need to go to school i need to do this you plan around i need to start a side hustle i need to go for therapy this is when you see you take some self-introspection you go and look at your life and everything that's going on and see which areas you need to do better in that's what you need to do when you're in the winter season shortly after the winter comes the spring spring is there's still a bit of wind <laughs> you know what spring is like guys the sun is starting to come out but it's windy outside you still have some cold days it's not yet full-blown summer but it's not full-blown winter you're just in the middle this is when you start planting you've planned you've taken a look at what you need to do so you start planting you join the gym you start the course you start to go for therapy you know you start to pray okay, you've always been praying and fasting but you, if you haven't you start to go to church you join a community this is when you start to plant you start to nurture friendships if you don't have any friends if you don't have any people that support you this is when you start to pray to, for god to bring you people that will be with you people that will support you this is when you start to plant you start to put yourself out there more you start to exercise more you start to eat better this is when you start to plant you start to read more you start to gain more knowledge and i know some people may say oh um i need money to get a course i need money to do this guys we we're, we're living in a social media age there are a lot of free courses out there on the internet. There are a lot of free books you can download. If you can watch this video, you have internet. Download a free book. Get some self-help. Um, download a book that can learn, uh, teach you better about finances. Is that what you need to learn more? If you're grieving a loss, download a book that can teach you. Go to the Bible. Go to church. Join a community. Join a cell group. This is the time when you start to plant. You start to put in. You know you've looked at the harvest. You looked, okay, this is what I want. I want to harvest this so you start to plant that by the time <clears throat> in terms of your health you start to say by the time i harvest i want to weigh this kind of kgs and this is what i want to do this is what i want to look like this is how i want to feel and then in your winter you've planned out if i'm going to do that i'm going to have to join the gym eat healthy and all of that so in your planting season is when you start to buy healthier foods you start to get into everything that you've been planning you start to put that into action there really isn't a lot of results in here there's a lot of planning so when you're praying you want to pray for strength you want to pray to not give up you want to ask god you know god's strength is made perfect in your weakness this is the kind of time you want to pray and ask god to guide you you want wisdom you want discernment you want to know which what to do who to do it with what to say you know guard your tongue guard your heart this is the time you want god's guidance in everything that you do the next season is summer summer is when you see a bit of growth summer is when the rain starts to come you know the heat starts to come you see you know your little plants are starting to sprout you know you've lost some kgs you're starting to look good you haven't reached your goal but you're seeing some growth you get what i mean you <clears throat> you haven't gotten the job but you've been you're starting to get called for more interviews that means more people are seeing your updated tv more people are seeing you're starting to connect you're starting to get into friendships you're starting, to, you're starting to get invited to places this is the time i like to call nurturing because what happens when you're in the growth stage when you start to see a little bit of some plant sprouting i think that's the word a lot of people tend to relax in the stage because you tend to feel like oh it's happening because now you're just starting to see some fruit of your work you know you've lost a little bit of weight you your friends like you more you are feeling better you get to go outside a bit more you feel better about yourself and you a lot of people tend to relax i like to call this the nurturing phase because you are paying attention to what you're doing you're paying attention that you don't fall back into old patterns because what the growth stage does is that it kicks your mood back like you start to get a little bit happy you start to have faith in the harvest you see oh my plants are growing but if you relax if you don't what do people call this i think farmers you know sometimes the rain if the rain is too much people need to go in the fields and make sure that it's not killing their plants and all of that so you need to pay attention to your fruit you need to pay attention to what is coming out you need to nurture yourself if you're going to the gym you don't need to start saying oh i'm gonna have cheat days four times a week you will quickly fall back into the old pattern this is the plant pattern that you need to nurture everything if you're starting to make friends if you're starting to make connections nurture them show up show up as your best self show up to your friends like this is the time that you need to nurture everything that you have in the rainy season you nurture it because you're getting ready for the harvest so you're nurturing everything by this time you started to serve at church 
you've started you know you've probably gotten a job and you're just getting into that job and you're starting to feel like oh i got this no even if you just got the job pay, pay attention to the blessing this is the time when some of the blessings start to flow nurture the blessing take care of the blessing don't relax oh i got it and think that you know um this is where it's ending you know the harvest is still coming the last the last season is the harvest the harvest and most important not most important i think the most important season is the harvest um this is the season where the blessings start to overflow you've hit your goal weight you've gotten the dream job you've gotten the dream husband or wife you're in the great relationship your husband's attitude has changed everything that you've been praying for you've gotten a lot of people tend to relax in the season if you're in the season i need you to pay attention and know that you need to plan you need to care it's like you remember in joseph's story when he pharaoh had that dream and joseph said you need to plan because drought is coming um this is what you need to do um how to explain this better is that you need to remember seasons aren't forever seasons are not forever if you're in your harvest soon to come after your harvest is winter because when you're at your peak the only thing that's going to come is the down so you need to save more if you're the peak financially you're earning more you're getting more deals save more invest more because winter is going to come and you're going to need to have a fallback plan if you are in your harvest season nurture your friendships make new friends show up for your friends because when winter comes those same friends will show up for you so this is the time you need to plan you need to nurture everything you have you need to invest make them don't make the mistake to squander during your harvest season a lot of people especially after winter and then now you're in your harvest you tend to squander it you don't tend to take care of we don't tend because i'm also a victim of this we don't tend to take care of the blessing that god has given us we don't tend to nurture it so when you're in your harvest season take care of the blessing you finally have the house that you've always wanted take care of it if things are falling apart fix things that need to be fixed paint it you know clean it take care of it if you finally hit your goal weight there's no need for you to start eating junk food again take care of your body you know now that you've gotten therapy and you are where you want to be there's no need for you to start going back to the old toxic patterns because you think oh i'm healed i can do this take care of yourself during the harvest season because seasons are not forever my final note this was a very quick video my final note for this is remember seasons are not forever I know sometimes winter feels like it takes forever, but because, you know, we have longer nights and shorter days, that is what it is like in the physical. But even when you're going through it, it feels like that. But remember, the same 24 hours in summer are the same 24 hours in winter. If you're in Africa, the same 24 hours in June, it's the same 24 hours in January, the same 24 hours in December, it's the same thing. It just feels like that because it's winter. The sun gets, you know, the sun goes away a bit quicker but remember seasons are not forever i know we always want to remember the statement when we are in winter but also when you are in your half of season remember seasons are not forever nurture your relationships guys you are not unique to sorry i think that came out wrong you are not um void of loss you will lose at some point time and chance happen to all men uh, my friend likes to say this you will grieve at some point not, there's nothing new under the sun there is a time to cry and a time to be happy it is going to happen to everyone so if you have everyone in your life everyone is alive nurture those relationships show up for everyone you know I don't have to come into oh i lost someone i should have texted them yesterday if you're in your harvest if everyone is around you is alive and healthy go after them nurture them look 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 for them you know um if you're having more money save save um you know what i my story would be i'll probably say this in a different story in a different video but i was big my friends say you need to save you need to save and i was big on you know what i need to live life because yeah 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 because i used to think i had control and the thing with seasons is that unlike the world where we can predict seasons when it comes to these seasons that you go through you really can't predict when the next season for you is gonna come because you're not really in control god is god is in control of the seasons god is in control of whatever happens in your life so you can't really predict oh i'm gonna save next month that was me i'm gonna save next month i'm gonna plan next month and you know what when god shows you that you should have done this a little sooner so don't wait for next week don't wait for next month save plan nurture your relationships especially when you're in the harvest season 
um so basically uh you need god in the seasons and i hope this video has helped somewhat i hope you know how to navigate your seasons better but the first thing like i said identify what season you're in identify what you need to do and then do it but always remember go to bed every night remembering that joy will come in the morning seasons do not last forever and even if you are in your harvest and you're in winter now you will harvest will come back it is a cycle it comes back but the reason some people look like they do not have a winter is because they plan better you know i know winter is coming next year so what am i gonna do i'm gonna buy blankets i'm gonna buy coats i'm gonna buy a heater such that when winter comes everyone in my home is warm it's fine if you know winter's coming you don't buy blankets you don't like it you're gonna be like oh my god guys this is the coldest winter we've ever seen oh my god because you failed to plan ahead you know christmas is coming you know you're gonna need to spend more money during christmas save for it not to make other people feel bad oh my god they look like they're having such a great christmas they knew christmas was coming they saved up for it they planned ahead so that's what you need to do seasons are not forever so other people look like their summer is going and going and going because they plan better they so that when things happen when life happens when people fall sick they have some savings they have a bit of planning they've nurtured relationships so that's what you need to do in order for you to enjoy winter better buy warm clothes buy blankets you know people will still go outside people and winter will move as quickly as summer for them because they've planned better they know winter is coming so I need you to just plan better and put God first, put God in everything. Remember, God is the author of your life. Uh, God has ordered your steps for tomorrow. Joey will come in the morning. The plans he has for you is to prosper you and not to harm you. So however it may look right now, God will take you out of anything. God will help you. God is good. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Bye.